Hi guys, how's it going? Hope you're well. Well, what I've got here for you today is a how to on how I painted Guy Gore from the Burning of Prospero box set. Okay, so let's kick things off. I'm doing a few little conversions just to make it more to my taste. As you can see, I've used a chainsaw handle to put onto the scabbard uh, just to make it look like the blade's actually in the holster. I'm also going to do a bit of conversion just on the sword work. I'm basically going to cut the sword off and attach uh, an axe head and an axe handle. Once I've got all the pieces prepped, I like to mount them on the toothpicks. Uh, it just makes painting them a bit easier for me. Uh, I'm basically going to prime everything in black apart from the head, which I'm going to prime in white. Uh, it just makes painting a bit easier for me. So once I've got it primed in white, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take a dark flesh tone and basically just put it all over the face. Next up, I'm going to take uh, a, a flat flesh colour and just airbrush it just from the 12 o'clock, right above the miniature, just over the face, just to sort of null some of those shadows. I'm just going to go back to the flesh tone now and just hit it back over the, uh, the character's lower lip. Now th this bit might seem a bit daft to some of you, but it kind of works for me. So I'm, I'm just going to take a couple of different colours uh, and just put them down each side of the face just to bring out a little bit of interest. Once again, I'm going to use the airbrush just to cover it with uh, the flat flesh tone. Next up, I need to start filling in the colour for the hair, so I'm using a sandy yellow from Vallejo for this. I'm going to use a sepia wash over all the hair just to give us some shadows, and then I'm going to use a, a sandy yellow mixed with white just to airbrush on some highlights to get us back to a, a highlighting colour. I'm going to use crimson red just to do the ties in the hair, and a bit of dark grey on the collar piece. I'm then going to put a black wash over anything that's not uh, flesh or hair. And then I'm going to dry brush on some pure white just to do a bit of highlighting. For the gun I'm going to use the airbrush and just lay down a solid colour of metallic black. I'm going to use cold grey to put a bit of colour to the grip and the handle. And some bright silver to do the chains. Then I'm going to coat the whole thing with a null oil wash. For the main armour I'm just going to use a medium grey and I'm going to go for the Zenithial highlighting approach on this one. I'm going to top this off using some white, again just airbrush, just on the, the, the main focal point, sort of the, the shoulder pads, the hands etc. I'm going to paint the wolf heads on the backpack using a really dark grey, as well as the little round things. Uh, not too sure what these are called, but you see what I mean. I just want to start blocking in all my colours now, so anything that's going to be gold, I'm going to paint it in like a medium brown first. This will just give us a good base for when the gold goes on top. All the tubes between the armour, I'm going to hit with that dark grey again. And then I'm going to start laying down the gold on top of the brown. Then I'm just going to finish off the base colours using silver and white wherever we need it. I'm 
I'm going to put an Agrax Earthshade wash all over the skulls. And then I'm going to put a normal wash over the entire miniature, excluding the head. Okay, so now that the wash is dried, I basically want to start hitting over the miniature and starting to bring up our highlights. Uh, I like to use a bit of blue tack just to mask off some areas just so I don't overspray. For the weapon, because it's obviously predominantly black, I'm just going to spray the front of it again just with some, uh, some of that metallic black. This is going to make the front of it stand out and look a bit brighter than the back and just give it a, a graduation throughout the gun. I'm also going to go back to the cold grey and just respray the handle. Using some masking, I'm just going to go over the main skull again just with pure white. For the wolf pelts, I'm going to paint these with uh, like an earthy brown. Then I'm going to paint the ends with back to sandy yellow uh, just to give us some highlights. And then I'm going to try and dry brush it in just to give us a bit of a blend before I coat the entire thing with a, uh, an Agrax Earthshade wash. What I need to do now is the hard edge highlighting. Uh, I'm going to use white for this, and this is probably the part that's going to take the longest to do on the miniature. So basically, any hard edges that are sort of facing towards your light source is going to be the bits where you want to start clipping with this, and this is just going to help bring out the definition of the miniature. All that's left to do now is assemble the miniature and spray it from top to bottom with a matte coat just to take away any of that gloss. Oh, one last thing, I have used Tamiya Clear Red after the matte coat just to go over the, uh, the little rubies just to make them stand out and give a bit of shine to them. Then all you need to do is base your miniature and he's done. So uh, I hope you've enjoyed watching guys, I've really enjoyed painting this miniature. Uh, any comments throw them in the boxes below uh, please please if you can uh, give us a subscription it's uh, much appreciated thanks a lot cheers